How should you build Tech Super Easy A Gotenks' Hidden Potential? How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we are taking a look at the Super Easy A Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and figuring out what just might be the best hidden potential setup for him as... There's a few options, but I think one sort of stands above the rest. So let's go ahead and start with the main thing with this guy, and that is his super attack effect, right? Just like he did prior to uh, his Easy A and his Super Easy A, each effect has a slightly different uh, effect, and it's based on the amount of key he gets. So 9 to 10, he will get the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack, which will raise his attack for one turn, cause him as damage to the enemy, 30% raise. On his 11 key, the Charging Ultra Boo Boo Volleyball will massively raise his attack for one turn and cause him as damage. That is a 100% raise. On his 12 key, he will perform the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack once again, but this time it will only greatly lower defense while causing supreme damage. So... I mean, realistically, when running this guy, you are chasing that 11 key, which does, you know, that has its own issues on certain setups, certain teams, and uh, obtaining key spheres. But his passive more or less lends it to allowing that to happen, especially as long as, long as you don't link him with like another go tanks or something. So let's talk about what he's doing here. So attack and defense 150% on his passive. He gets an additional 200% attack and 100% defense when performing a super attack he gives super class allies 33 percent and extreme allies 33 percent uh for three turns from the character's entry turn he has an additional attack and defense 100 percent when key is 11 and an additional 50 percent attack and defense with each attack performed up to 150 percent so he must perform three attacks before he's fully built up and as long as all allies attack at the same turn have gotten key spheres which pretty easy to do your transforming critical hit is 50% and reduces damage received by 50% within the same turn uh, when his key is 11. So right there, that passive effect right there means you want to get that 11 key. This is the effect you want. You want that damage reduction and that extra chance to crit. If you do happen to get the 12 key though, right? Sometimes it happens, right? Orbs just don't land the way you want. He ends up with an additional chance of evading enemies attack 33%. So he could he could dodge hopefully since he won't be getting that uh he won't be getting that extra damage. So it's it's I mean it's not the worst thing in the world, but obviously it's not helping you uh, deal more damage, which is basically his main thing, damage. He's not a big damage dealer, but, you know, he could throw out some funny numbers, especially if you've got this dude with a couple dupes in him and rainbow. Now, looking at that, what does that mean you want for his hidden potential? Well, taking a look here, right, at our hidden potential breakdown on the Dokkan wiki, right? This dude is tech, right? And so as a tech type, he's already got built-in critical hit, just like, um, uh, just like str type so if you were to fully invest critical hit he would end up with 20 per 20 critical hit meaning he would have a 40 percent chance if you add an extra 10 that would bump that up to uh, a 50 percent chance to crit now he's already got a 50 percent chance to crit on his uh through his passive 50 is more or less a coin flip and i think it for critical hit that's more than enough to warrant leaning your abilities elsewhere, right? Especially because of this 11 key effect, the massively raising attack for the turn, right? So if you do the, so, so it, that meaning that, right? So if he does a put a hidden potential super, right through after doing this that second attack will default uh to the 12 key i believe um he, he he won't do the same attack again which means that um he will end up getting he, he won't get another attack raise not that it matters it's not like he can attack again but he'll still be doing a pretty significantly amount of damage and so that second super is going to be incredibly powerful so you want to invest that critical hit or that combo attack in him that combo attack at fully maxed out right if you uh 
if you invest fully in him, it will get up to 15. That is a 30% chance. 40 if you invest 10 extra through skill orbs. So, I mean, pretty darn good. 40% chance to do additional. It's not the best in the world, but it is enough that you're pretty consistently going to be seeing that second super. All right. So that combined with his 50% chance to crit, he's going to be dealing the damage you need to deal. Him. Now, the question is for adds. Well, what do you add for his supportive, right? What his last two things so you can either up his evasion now upping his evasion will only give you about 11 evade which is an 11 percent chance to dodge and if you happen to have combo and dodges you can bump that up another 10 to 22 percent uh or 21 percent rather so i mean it's not the worst thing in the world but it it, it can do an extra 20 percent chance to dodge on top of right his uh on top of the 33% if you end up getting the 12 key or um, uh, yeah, just the 12 key, the 33%. So, I mean, it can help. It's not going to be super reliable, but hey, it is there. Otherwise, you can invest in critical hit, um, if, uh, which would, again, net you 20 if you invest in it. So... It would, to me, it would just kind of more, it would basically just make up for the slight chance that you might not proc that 50%. I don't know that this is the best route. I think that 50% is enough to rely on that you could go evasion, uh, but I don't think you should invest fully in it, right? Like this should be your primary. Combo attack should be your primary. Sub evasion or sub crit, whichever you feel like you want to utilize uh, more based on what you feel like your go tanks is lacking. If he is only 69%, I would definitely recommend maybe leaning more on the uh, on the uh, critical hit side, simply because it would help him out a little bit more with the with the lesser stats. Obviously, 79% or greater, you could go full dodge. Um, at least in your sub and then it would work out all right but i definitely don't recommend going evasion if you only have him 69 percent because the trade-off just isn't worth it you're not going to have enough to really ever see that proc so guys that is it for the video pretty straightforward additional sub uh crit or sub uh, dodge whichever you prefer um if you guys like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let us know uh what is your build for your tech super easy a go tanks would you go full additionals full crit or full dodge let us know in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha